Well, I'm in a bit of different country here today, finds. Back in my old stomping ground pretty well. Choppers are going to town on that other block I've been on, so. Um, seen a few bucks. We're coming here still on the hope to get a velvet buck, but. Just spotted a pretty handy buck. Still a long way out, but um, yeah, he looks like he's rubbed out. I've seen another one this morning, right on first light. He had one real big antler, but the other one was either malformed or just a shit thing. But yeah, he was rubbing out too, so. The old velvet train might have sailed for another year. Anyway, this gully that I'm in here, she normally produces a few good bucks every year, but <clears throat> that many wallaroos living here, she makes it pretty hard hunting. And bigger buck I got spotted right over just in here. So, I was going to cut straight across to him, but I think I'll just keep going around the top, so. so. See what else is in here. Bit of rain coming this week, so I'll probably get a bit of time off work. And yeah, if I can track down a big follower, I'll put a bit of effort in any. I'm pretty sure these bucks are rubbed out, eh? It's the 28th there, he definitely rubbed out. 28th of January. I've seen another one before that was rubbing. Bit of country between me and him. We've got four bucks spotted over on this ridge in here. A couple there. I'll definitely have a go at if I um, got half a decent opportunity. They're out there thrashing shit like they're definitely rubbing their velvet out. They've built the shit out of the trees up in there. So I'll make my way around the ridge here slowly. And yeah, hopefully if they're still carrying on with that, might be half a chance of sneaking down on one. If I go straight across the gully from here, I'm going to push too many roos with me, so not really worth it. Keep checking these tops out and hopefully get back of the pig here, I think. Yeah, pig. Black and white one. Yeah, keep checking these tops and hopefully bump into something a bit closer. Is that first chocolate one I've seen this morning? I don't think he is. No. Big guard time off the back of him there. These are the bucks that I was looking at before. Well, there was only one I was looking at, but I spotted another one. Where are they? There's the first one I was looking at that I videoed before. Just around from him here, somewhere. Now where is there is another one there though. It's in there somewhere, I think. Yeah, there is. I'm pretty confident there'll be a big follower here somewhere. Let's go find him.
idea. Yeah, so not the biggest boar, but it's been a few years since I've shot one off this block. Seem to be breeding up pretty well. I'll see if I can find this arrow. Well, another arrow I couldn't track down. I'll come back and have a bit better look for it later in the week. Definitely not the biggest boar, but get some blood coming out of me. Let's roll him over. No monster by any means. First one off this block for a while. So I'll get around, get up above those other four bucks I've seen, hopefully track something else down. There'll be more here somewhere. Well, while I was up there looking at them two deer, they up on that ridge behind me then. I just spotted a cracker over this other side here, so just how many of these shitful kangaroos I'm going to have to deal with. There's definitely one other buck there with him. But yeah, if I can get in this gully here quietly. Just the roos that are going to cause the most drama. And then, I'm not going to push him too hard. If he's not in the greatest spot, I'll leave him. I'd, I'd rather not push him out of this gully. He's definitely a good looking buck. Now we're talking. Better looking buck. I walked right above that buck this morning. I didn't want to look over that edge for that exact reason. They always seem to blow them out when they're over that edge. I'm definitely going to try and sneak around and make a bit of a move on him. Well, <laughs> as usual, that's all over. I went up in here. That buck, he was full. He's a dead tree. The buck was feeding up in this clearing up here. Now yeah, I only come down. It's only been 15 minutes. I come down and got to these trees. Just taking me pack up and stood up and I was standing. There's three of them. Standing just there. I wouldn't have thought they would have come down here. Coming later in the day. They normally go up and bed up either under the tree up there. Or bed up in up in here. I thought they would have been heading up, not down. So, he's a cracker of a buck. Man, it's just that hot. Fuck, it's hot. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. It has to be 35 degrees already. So, anyway, I'll spend a bit of time on him and try and get him. He's still full well with that big fella, but. Yeah, she's pretty hard going in this country to get them. Just the roos are the main problem. Like, there's hundreds of them in here. You can't get in here to shoot any of the roos. So they're always in here. Anyway, you'd be one to keep having a go at them. Well, the helicopters didn't kill everything. This pig just trotted in here too. Funny walked her. 150 metres. Guess that's a bit of a sign. How well we'll see this, I don't know. But then there's a cracking big velvet buck in there. So that's fucking good. I was worried these choppers would have at least pushed them all out of it. I just sort of. I was mobbing deer down on the dam near that pig that I didn't really worry too much about. Yeah, pushing up the hill. 
Might be why Dan's through here. It's a bit of a shit of a galley to get through and so if I can get up near this bell but far. These deer have that outrun the board. Just see me then. Barry. <clears throat> Fuck, I can't get a deer for the life of me. Oh, they're coming in on them deer. Spotted them from over here. There's a fair few dead deer up along there from that chopper. And a few deer pushed up off this deer and ran below them and they were a bit edgy. Sat and sat and the wind was swirling a bit so I thought I'd cut her in. I'd just poke me out there in that bush they fucking just pinned me straight up. I don't know, probably, I thought they were about 40, but they were probably a bit closer than that. Pretty handy buck. Anyway, at least there's a few left. Spotted another mob of velvet buck. Fog's been making it hard, eh? We've actually started finding a fair few dead deer in that helicopter. I don't know what's in these fellas. Make a move down here and have a look. Seen this mob. I missed this buck on one of them videos. The first buck I missed, oh, well, not that, one of the darker, sort of more tanny coloured ones. I hope they'd feed up. That fellow that's walking out there now, that's the one I missed. He's that monster. Bit of a monster. I thought they'd honestly walk up. See more deer out behind them there.
Yeah, no, the overpass. Pretty cool stalk, I just didn't know the other deer. No, there's that many of them there on the other side of that bush, you could only see that one. So, a bit more meat for the freezer anyway. Well, I finally found an arrow. Let's <coughs> come back to have one quick look. That's where that deer came out standing just in line that bush there. She's jammed in this tree root. These are easy veins if you haven't tried them or looked at them. Give them a look, easy veins are a 3D printed vein. They just slip straight over your arrow. You mark your, where you want them to go to. Put like a little paper clip thing there. Yeah, just put a line of super glue, slide them straight on. Cracking idea I reckon, because I hate fletching arrows. Anyway, make a move, I just got all the meat off that deer. I won't show you too much of it, but I'll get the shits with me. Pack's loaded and... Yeah, I can shoot a female, I can't shoot a velvet buck. <laughs> anyway. Make a move out Good to see there's still plenty of deer up in here. I that chopper might have calmed them down a bit, but... Only seen, probably seen seven or eight dead deer or females, but most of the bucks I've been watching seem to be up there, so hard to tell first light, you couldn't see anything for fog. Anyway, get this made home and get it in the fridge.